to this morning. We want to confess that we come before you this morning to worship you, Jehovah. We come before thee even to confess of our sins this morning. Thank you because you're such a gracious God. Enabling us to see this day, we appreciate your presence. We know it took your power for us to be the way we are this morning. We want to come before thee as we plead for pardon this morning. Lord Jesus, we've done so many things against your will. And we anger your Holy Spirit by what we do each and every day. But merciful Father, we are trusting upon your mercies this morning. Thank you, Lord, because you're going to extend your mercy upon each one of them. To my view, I'm praying that you may touch him or her wherever he is, O oh God. It is by your power we are able to do all things. And without you, Lord, we cannot do anything. How we call upon your presence. As we start our Arise and Shine show this morning, we are calling upon your presence. Come, Holy Spirit, and give us company. Lead us in your paths, Lord. Teach us your ways this morning. Counsel us, King of all glory, and help us to grow in your presence. We are praying for the sick this morning. Thank you, my Father, because by your stripes on the cross of Calvary, we receive our healing. Thank you because all the power is bestowed on you and you have the power to heal now and forever. Lord, we are praying for these souls that we may touch each one of them, that they may regain strength and that they will be able to praise and worship you this morning. Some are very weak, they cannot even sit to listen or watch what we are talking about this morning. But thank you, King of all kings, because you work in your ways. You're not like us, you're such a high God. And your ways are different from our ways. Thank you, Lord, because you're going to extend your favor, your healing power, and you're going to encourage your people this morning. Some of us have lost our beloved ones. We need your power, God. It's a time that reaches that we feel that you only need your strength, Lord. Because at time we are attacked, we are weak, we don't know where to turn to. But thank you, Jesus, because you are all that we need this morning. In our bereaved families, Lord, we are calling upon your peace and your presence. How we pray you're going to fill those gaps by your goodness, Lord, in your own way because you are God. Heavenly Father, we are praying for even our country this morning. Thank you because you're going to give us sanity in whatever we are going to do. We remember this the year of the campaigns, Lord. We are calling upon sanity by our politicians and all rulers and leaders of this country. Lord, it may go beyond what we may expect. But thank you, Lord Jesus, because you're going to control whatever happens. You hold our country in your hands, O oh God and you have never been defeated. How we dedicate our country unto you. And we pray that you're gonna raise a leader that you've chosen for us. We worship you and we glorify your name. We want to pray for the church. Thank you, Lord, because of the many congregations that are going to attend to whichever church this morning. We are praying for your presence. We are praying for your interpretation of the word. We are praying for your teaching, oh God. That these may revive us and change our attitudes and motives, Jehovah. That we may live to glorify your name. To all your servants, Lord, I'm calling upon your Holy Spirit. That they may do whatever they're going to do today in your guidance and in your leading. We pray for even the congregants, oh God. As they reach where you are this morning, we are praying that you're going to lay off the burdens that are behind them and on them that they may walk free in their presence. We thank you and worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you because we know you're in our presence. We honor you and we glorify your name. We see you're such a good God and no one we can compare with you. We surrender all unto you, our body, bodies, our minds. We all say that we give all unto you so that you can minister unto us. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords. And this we pray believing and trusting in Jesus name we all say amen amen we thank the Lord because we always take every opportunity to tell him thank you 
Remember many a times you are blessed. You've been praying for something for so long. And the Lord in his own way. Make sure he blesses you with that. But how many of us goes back to God and say thank you? How many of us have offered the sacrifice of thanksgiving in their churches, in wherever they fellowship? Because the Lord has done something great unto their lives. Are we like, we don't appreciate God after he does whatever he wants. He is God. Remember, he is not changed with our situation. We might change us because we are human. But he was, he is, and even tomorrow he shall remain. I don't know what is discouraging you this morning. I don't know what is making you feel like you don't, you don't qualify. The Lord is here to qualify you today. He's here to take you up. He's here to move you to wherever you cannot even imagine. He is God. He's such a powerful God. He's never limited by our situations. And now, this is the time that we all give all unto God. We give our souls, our minds, and our hearts unto God. We dedicate our whole being unto God. Because this is what he expects of us. So that he can minister unto us. He is God. He's never limited. We thank him. We want to start our show by worshipping the Lord. We give him all his good names as we tell him there is no one like him. We're going to start with a song done by Eunice Njeri that says, Hakuna Mungu Kamawewe. So we thank the Lord and we want to confess with our mouths that Hakuna Kama Yesu. There is, we've searched everywhere and there is no one we can compare with Christ. Nothing we can compare with the love of God. So I'm going to uh, leave you this music from Eunice Jerry. Enjoy and you'll be blessed. Thank you. Welcome back, my viewer. It's such a great honor to have you. We are blessed of the Lord this morning. And all the solution to our problems is in the word of God. The word of God is powerful. It has all the answers that we need. Why do we then cease studying the word of God? In such a great morning, our souls yearn for the Lord. We wait upon God because we know whenever we wait upon God, we will never be ashamed. And the word of God being the, the food for the soul this morning, it is here to encourage us, to make a difference in us, to build something new in us, that we may be able to walk together with God. So it's another opportunity, a great opportunity actually, because this is a time we share the word of God. Because the word of God, just like he is powerful, is a simple powerful. So today we have the honor to have Pastor Patrick Kerry, who will be sharing the word of God with us. He's a man of God, and we believe the Lord is going to use him in a mighty way to deliver what the Lord has for us. Remember, our Lord never lays a table without a purpose. Are you there? Are you waiting to hear what the Lord has for you? This is the time. Welcome, Pastor Thank you. It's an honor to have you today. Yeah. We are hungry and eager to hear what the Lord has for us. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, as Sister have said, um, Pastor Patrick Kerry, uh, Encounter Future Church, Kauru. I love the Lord this morning because of his masses. The Bible says, uh, what a, a wonderful God we serve, the mighty God we serve, the good God we serve. Who always has best in everything that we do. I am God this morning because we go for it. The Bible says that the word, the man shall be from the word, that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord.
Oh, thank you. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. I'm Pastor Patrick Carey, uh, Encounter Victory Church, Kauro. I thank the Lord this morning because of his mercies. And uh, I take this as a privilege to share the word of God this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit to the word of today uh, and to your able hands in the name of Jesus. Help us to understand it and to hear it. Let it have a direction in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Uh, I will welcome you to the word of God this morning from the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. I will read, the Bible says, For we are God's hard working, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. I want to talk about commitment. Commitment, it is a state of giving ourselves a lot of time and attention to something that we believe or to something because we believe in it or we see the importance of it. In every aspect of our lives, the reasons why we commit ourselves to do maybe whatever we are doing, it is because we believe in it. Hakuna yote anaweza fanya kitu wabao haezi kikiamini. Kwa hivyo tunamini, kini ambacho tunafanya tunakiamini. Katika imani, badiko inatuambia kwamba, uh, kini ambacho tunacho kifanya, mungu alikiweka. Ata kabla sisi tujujue. Ata kabla sisi tuelewe. The Bible says, for we are God's hard work. We are God's hard work created in Christ Jesus to do uh, good works, which God prepared in advance for us. So whatever we are doing has been created by God, has been uh, installed by God, has been there even before we, th we thought of it is there. Be why? Because God had a, had a purpose for our lives. This morning, I want to tell you that God has a purpose for you. Commit yourself in what you are doing. Believe in God. Because if you cannot believe in God in what you are doing, it is all in vain. The Bible says it is by the right believing that we receive what we do. It is by the right believing. You cannot do what, uh, you cannot not believe uh, or you cannot succeed in what you are doing if you cannot believe in it. The Bible says that uh, God has prepared this in advance. And sometimes we don't understand uh, that uh, uh, we are in God's work. We are in God's purpose. We are in God's uh, time. Praise the name of Jesus. Because if you not understand this, you might mess up in life. You might not understand uh, maybe the, the challenges that you are uh, encountering today is shaping uh, your life towards what God has predestined for your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Commit yourself to God. The Bible has said that for we are God's hard work. We are created with a reason and a purpose. And when we commit ourselves to this, there is uh, a, a character, one of the uh, person I admire so much in commitment is called Moredekai. Moredekai committed himself despite that the situations uh, uh, he was in or the work he was doing, some people may not be able to commit themselves to it. Why? Mtu uh, ambaye anakaa kwa gate, mtu ambaye anakaa mahali ambapo si mahali pazuri. And when he had that, the king had an issue. Or there was guys that was after the king. The Bible says because of his commitment, because he believed in his whatever he was doing, and he believed that it is the work of God he was doing. Praise the name of Jesus. He gave himself and reported the matter to the king. The Bible says he was rewarded. Not at the time. Not at that moment. Praise the name of Jesus. The problem we have today is because we want the reward immediately. Hallelujah. And it cannot work like this. Commit yourself. Even before we receive maybe the profit of something, we work for it. Hallelujah. Even before we receive uh, uh, a mandate of doing something, we have to commit ourselves or show ourselves we are able to do so. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says that and when the time came, for God to reward Moredekai, the Bible says over the night that the king never slept. Why? Because God bothered him. He, it was the time for the word of Moredekai. 
What are you doing today? Are you committed to yourself to do what God has purposed for you? Unaweza sema ni kuajiriwa ni meajiriwa? Hapana. Hiyo kazi ni Mungu amekupatia. And you should commit yourself to it. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you do this, hallelujah, the reward time will come and you enjoy the reward. The Bible says that and uh, when uh, Mordecai was about to be killed together with the uh, with uh, his people, the Bible says that uh, that night uh, king never slept. He never slept and he called uh, the one who was serving and he demanded for the book of uh, Chronicles to read about uh, the events of the kingdom. And the Bible says at the end of the, that night or at the at the time when uh, the enemy was coming to demand for the life of Mordecai, the Bible says that king had already read somewhere written that Mordecai saved the king and he could ask what did he or what reward did he get? The Bible says that there was not records of what the Mordecai was rewarded. Praise the name of Jesus. Sometimes we want an immediate reward. Sometimes we want everything to work according to our favor. Praise the name of Jesus. It does not work like that. Praise the name of Jesus. First, commit yourself to what God has purposed for your life. Be in advance, praise Jesus. Everyone has an ability to do something. Everyone is called to do something. Praise the name of Jesus. And when you realize this, even if whatever you are doing, people might, might not approve it, but if whatever you are doing is by God's command, praise the name of Jesus. At the end of everything, you shall have, you shall have a reward. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, you must realize you are doing the light thing done by the light person sometimes we regret why am i doing this why am i doing this praise the name of jesus if you know that you are the light person to do what you are doing you put emphasis to that praise the name of jesus and when you put emphasis to it praise the name of jesus it will come with a reward it will come with a greater impact in your life praise the name of jesus you are the light person for that you might be in, a, uh, in an office. You might be even uh, uh, you are hawking something. And uh, by that time, you make sure that you have the light, uh, the light thinking that I am the light person to this. Where they come and they unafa katika yokazi. Where they come and unamini they unafa. Ina manisha nini? Kiri ambacho unafanya. Kiri ambacho unafanya. Kita kuwa ni chamuhimu sana. Ata kwa watu ambao watakuwa na kuona. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengine wanafanyaga kazi katika uleke ulegevu tunataka ulegevu. Anafanya kati, kazi tu kujitoa tu pale hataki ku, kuifanya anataka kuifanya akionekana akionekana na mwenye mwajiri ama akionekana uh, na wale ambao maybe uh, ambaye anatabua hapana si kama hivyo. Badiki nimesema kwamba wakati tunafanya kazi ama wakati tu ya committed ourselves or we are committing ourselves to what God has called us to do we do it wholeheartedly wholeheartedly kumaanisha nini hata kama it is out of season we do it even if it is in season we do it praise the name of Jesus Christ must realize what uh, you are doing is light for more to know you are doing the light thing you might fall uh, you might fail terribly if you fail to understand that whatever you are doing is a purpose in your life you are be called for it praise the name of Jesus kama nikuhubiri na ubiri wacha nifanye kwamba nipate ya maisha yangu nipate ambao uh, hakuna mtu atakuja kunielekeza utakuwa unafanya hivi it is with, within me i'm doing it from the deep of my heart praise the name of Jesus commitment commitment the reason why today people are not getting the rewards of what they are doing it is because they lack commitment praise the name of Jesus and when you lack commitment hallelujah don't expect to have a reward because every crown come after doing something ukiangalia wale ambao wanapiga mbio uangalie vizuri wakianza pale kila mmoja anakuanga na hiyo roho ya kusema kwamba ni mimi na shida lakini baada ya kupiga zile bio tunaona liwand ya kile kila mmoja wao anafanya ama alikuwa amejiada everything has its own preparation and sometimes we fail to prepare we just want to do things because others are doing it no prepare for it praise the name of jesus if you cannot prepare your garden you cannot go to harvest hallelujah you cannot go there and you demand that that garden to give you something 
No, it is not like that. Everything has its initial way of doing things. Unaza pale kuwada shamba. Bada ya wakati. We call it uh, after a, a given time. That is what we do between the, uh, the start, the, the commence, what we, we have commenced, and who are at the end of the product. Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot demand to have an harvest when you have not prepared the garden for it. Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot have or, or require a profit when you have not invested. This is the principles of the kingdom. Not only for the kingdom, even for the, uh, what you call the basic life. So you have to so start somewhere. And then you believe God for it. And then you commit yourself for it. Praise the name of Jesus. Why do you wake up early? Why do we uh, 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 sleep late? It is because of maybe the commitment we have in our lives. Praise the name of Jesus. My listener, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is my prayer this morning. This is my prayer this year. Because uh, it is still too early. It is, it, the year is still very young. Praise the name of Jesus. Commit yourself. I can hear the word of the Lord speaking to my spirit about commitment. Commit yourself in what you are doing. Praise the name of Jesus. Bada ya, ya kujitoa. Bada ya kujitoa katika hile kazi ya unafanya. Bada ya kujitoa na kujitolea. Praise the name of Jesus. At the end of everything, you shall appreciate it. You shall not say that I have worked and I have received nothing. No way. No way. It does not work like that. You cannot commit yourself. You cannot over yourself to do something. Then you regret later. No. Unless you are doing it negatively. And if, uh, if you are doing it positively towards what God has called you, towards what the ability you have, because we are gifted differently. We have different abilities. Praise the name of Jesus. Realize yourself. Align yourself with what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. And at the end of everything, I am double sure. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You shall enjoy the fruit of your labor. Some people mess up in life because they don't understand or they don't uh, come to their eyes what God has purposed for their life. The purpose. You commit yourself to that purpose. Praise the name of Jesus. Commit yourself to what God has ordained you to do. Hallelujah. At the end of everything, praise the name of Jesus Christ, you shall have, you shall have a crown of victory. You know, when you don't understand the direction of your life, any road can take you to, to somewhere. Because you cannot go to the stage. Where is the end of stage? Ya matatu, uigie matatu yote pale. Apana. Unaenda unaangalia. Ile matatu inaenda mahali ambapo unaenda. Why? Because you understand what you are doing. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you understand the root of your life, if you understand the direction of your life, praise the name of Jesus Christ, you will commit yourself to it. You will commit uh, yourself, your ability, your strength, your resources to it for a profit. Praise the name of Jesus. For we are God's hard works created in Christ Jesus to do good work, which God prepared in advance for us to do. If we look on uh, another person like Nehemiah, the Bible says he had pain of what has happened to Jerusalem. Despite he was in the presence of the king, and uh, everyone could be comfortable uh, being in the presence of the king, to him because of his commitment, Towards the walls of Jerusalem. The Bible says uh, one time he presented himself to the king. Now mfarme akamuliza. Kwa nini uso wako mekujamana? Akasema nike furai yaje. Nita furai na muna gani? Kama uh, ukuta wa Yerusalemu umeanguka. Kama ukuta wa Yerusalemu ume, umekaa katika kubo, uh, ku, uh, kupromoka. Madiku nasema kwamba uh, mfarme akampatia kibali. Akampatia nafasi ya kweda kujenga. And the Bible says that within 52 days, he committed himself to build the wall of Jerusalem. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Build your wall also. Commit yourself to it. Don't let it stay in rain. Commit yourself to rectify a mistake, to rectify something that is not in the in right position, in the right direction. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Because maybe God has committed you for that. And sometimes many people does not realize even what God has called them to do. So they cannot commit themselves to add it. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and when, Moret, uh, and when uh, Nehemiah 
uh, went there within 52 days. He was in a position to position those who are building and position those who are protecting the builder because every every commitment or every task has its disadvantages it has it has its own or challenges the challenges they faced was some people were against hallelujah and it is not uh, uh i think uh, what uh, god uh, want to, uh, us to understand is that if god has created something or has initiated something in us and we face the challenge the challenge is not for uh to 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 do to, to overcome us it is not meant to overcome us but to give us more strength praise the name of jesus christ their mind was strengthened because of the challenge he faced what an agenda we give one meshika the bows and arrow why because the enemy is still targeting what you are doing and some uh, in some uh, time uh, we don't understand this you cannot imagine god has granted them to build the wall and at the same times he has given uh, other people uh, a, a, a challenge to come and challenge them praise the name of jesus christ we have it has to be balanced it has to be balanced the bible says he committed himself within 52 days the walls of jerusalem was built praise the name of jesus christ what god has ordained you today what god has committed in your life commit yourself also to it uh, to the glory and the honor of jesus praise the name of jesus christ what else we read uh, another verse in the book of uh, Cor Colossians chapter 3 verse uh, 23 the bible says um Colossians Colossians sorry chapter 3 verse 23 as i finish the name of Jesus 23 the bible says whatever you do work as it with uh let me repeat that whatever you do work it uh work it with all your heart as working for the lord not for human masters praise the name of jesus since you know that you are willing uh that you will receive an inheritance of the lord as a reward it is the lord's it is the lord's christ you are serving praise the name of jesus christ whatever you do whatever you are doing praise the name of jesus do it as if you are doing it for christ when we shift our mind on serving people and uh we take it as we are serving christ praise the name of jesus christ we cannot feel uh, what we usually say that what one and yon and come as if i praise the name of jesus in whatever you are doing hallelujah do it as if you are doing it for christ do it as if christ is watching you have that in your heart that whatever i'm doing even today whatever you're doing today praise the name of jesus i'm not doing it for someone no i am doing it for christ i'm not doing it because i'm being paid no i'm doing it because i have committed myself to to do it and i'm doing it for christ praise the name of jesus christ it will shift your mind from uh, uh from uh, from men's perspective to god's uh direction praise the name of jesus christ and when we we do this hallelujah the bible is saying is saying since you know that you are uh you are you will receive an inheritance from the lord as a reward not as uh, a reward from men you receive an inheritance from the lord as a reward praise the name of jesus christ the reasons why sometimes uh we fail to have a reward it is because we do things according to what our mind or our direction of our uh, of our thoughts is lakini wakati tuna patiana ma kile ambacho tunafanya kama tunakifanyia yesu hallelujah as our master as our lord as our savior praise the name of jesus christ we receive a reward we, it is an, our inheritance ni kitu ambacho ni chetu ni kitu ambacho kitatuletea ma, manufaa ni kitu ambacho kitatuletea mazuri praise the name of jesus lakini tukiangalia ni kama kwamba tunakifanyia mwanadamu utakifanya tu kwa sababu unamfanyia mwanadamu praise the name of jesus christ you fail to give yourself fully to it sometimes you come late to work sometimes you forget to do things according to the instructions why because you are doing it to man but when you are doing it to god praise the name of jesus you will make sure that you have perfected what you are doing hallelujah knowing this it has a reward not from men but from god 
Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, the word of God is the best word. The word of God. The Bible says the blessings of God are no more solo. It has no solo. Haiwezi leta machozi. Haiwezi leta kilio. Praise the name of Jesus. Kazi ambao unaifanya kwa sababu unaifanya kama unamfanyia Yesu. Haiwezi firisika. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But if you are doing it for men. Hallelujah. It will be your vanity. Itakuwa tu ni bule. Praise the name of Jesus. Kwa hiyo asubuhi ya leo kwa neema ya Kristo. Commit yourself in whatever God has granted you to do. Hallelujah. Commit yourself. Wacha manuguniko. Toa mama. The Bible says and when they murmured, they were destroyed in the wilderness. Toa mama. Praise the name of Jesus. Ha, ifanye kama kutoka kwa roho yako, unaifanyia Mungu. Ifanye kutoka kwa roho yako, unaifanya ili upate reward ya bingu. Ya bingu ni si hapa duniani. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you Akutakuwa na stress ya kazi. Najua why people get that stress because of the work it is because they are doing it for men. But when you offer yourself to do it for God, praise the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot mama. You cannot be tired. You cannot say that hii kazi ni nyingi hapana because if you allow God to control it, if you allow your mind and your heart to focus on God, there is a reward. That is what the Bible says. There is a reward. And I am praying this morning for you that in whatever you are doing, may you receive a reward in the name of Jesus. May it be your inheritance. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. When God has a purpose of your life, when God has commissioned you to do something, praise the name of Jesus Christ, it comes with a reward. And I know that this morning, someone is receiving a reward in the name of Jesus Christ. Something, someone somewhere is receiving a reward in the name of Jesus. I bless the Lord this morning because of what he has done in your life. And I know that you shall commit yourself more. Praise the name of Jesus. Because if you commit yourself more to that, hallelujah, hallelujah, there is a reward for it. There is a reward in your life. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us read uh, again verse 24. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is, it is the Lord's uh, Lord Jesus or Lord Christ who uh, you are serving. When you are serving uh, uh, according to what God has purposed or according to what has been commissioned unto you, hallelujah, you receive it, uh, you shall receive an inheritance uh, from the Lord as a reward in Jesus' mighty name. I thank the Lord this morning and I desire so much that uh, you commit yourself more, commit yourself uh, and I know that it shall come with a reward in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord this morning for his word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. Glad, you are very glad that you came, Pastor. Amen. We are really encouraged. Thank you. You know, it was challenging when you are told that um, us as believers, we expect to have this to plan today and mm -hmm. have this today. Wh which is not possible. Which is not possible. Uh -huh. We just need to come to our dream. Do you pay allegiance? Do you pay allegiance? <laughs> that you just wake up one morning you plant a seed and you harvest the seed it's not possible the problem with the ask christian is that we are not patient sure we are never patient yeah and uh, we always rush uh -huh. whatever we do uh -huh. forget that god's timing is the best <laughs> yeah yeah he comes at the right time yeah and he he knows what we deserve sure actually even before we dedicate ourselves and uh, we, we commit ourselves in prayer and we tell god what you mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. he's such a He's not like us. He understands even what sure, we do sure, before sure, we sure. pray. Mm. So are we calm enough to commit to ourselves, commit to our work unto the Lord, mm. and have that patience of reaping? Because eventually, God is going to come. Sure. In his own way, he will come. Yeah. You know, one thing we are sure about God mm. is that uh, there is no way we are going to stand here and confess that our God was defeated. He cannot be. Since ages, he <laughs> yeah. even today he does not change. Sure, he sure. remained the same mm. and he will not change. Mm -hmm. So we have confidence in this God because he's not like man sure. who should lie or maybe forget. Sure. He's God himself. In himself is a lot of power that is even beyond our understanding. Oh, yes. So uh -huh. why should we waver? Why should we doubt God? And why should we rush and we, in fact we don't know even want to dedicate ourselves and commit ourselves mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. But all we need is to reap from him. Sure. So I think we are a bit selfish as Christians. We need Very to much. send this, Very this much. to God so that we can reap and receive sure. from That's him. True. He's mm -hmm. a powerful God. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Patrick, for Thank coming. You. Thank and you. I'm sure my viewer, you've been encouraged. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a difference. It was like we are we've already been fed and we feel right in the presence of sure. God. And uh, it makes us 
feel that we have what what it takes to move on. Oh, yeah. So at times you feel weak, and just like I said, this is the time, mm. or this is the place where we get solution to all our problems. Oh, yeah. Because mm. everything, every puzzle to be to be tackled in our life mm. is actually in the Word of God. Oh yeah. We get all answers. All we need, we get it from the Word sure, of God. Sure. And because we are believers, yeah. we have no doubt with God. Oh yeah. Because His Word is powerful and it's true. Amen. So we thank the Lord. Amen. The Lord, and we say that thank He is God. Mm. Sometimes when you you fed, you feel like you just want to stand and praise the Lord and tell oh, God, yeah. you're worthy of mm. all praises. You're worthy of everything. You're oh, yes. worthy of anything mm. in this world. Oh yeah. He's such a big and a good God. Oh yeah. So thank you, my dear. We are glad that you're still tuned, and uh, we, we we know that we are in a certain level. Oh, yes. The Lord is the one who elevates us. Mm. We cannot be able to elevate ourselves. Mm. He's the one who feeds us. Mm. He's the one who knows why, how we are hungry. Mm. And He knows the measure of whatever food He wants oh, yes. to share with us. Oh, yes. So we are glad that the Lord is with us. And we have the confidence in God. We are not doubting God. And oh, yeah. for example, like we've been told today, that you're going to commit ourselves unto the Lord. Mm. Because you know, eventually, we are going to live from the same God. So we thank the Lord. Thank you. We thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In everything that we do, we just say, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We're going to take a commercial break. After this, we'll have the testimony hour, and I hope you'll be blessed. So as we take the break, we will try to meditate upon that word of God. And uh, let, us, let us not be hypocrite before God. Let's tell God, yes, we are playing, we are open, and we listen unto our hearts. Mm. So Pastor Patrick, you're going oh, yes. to pray for us? Yeah. So that we can... Sure. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, we know that uh, there is none like you. The word, the Bible says, to those who believe, it become power. We know that King of kings and the Lord of lords, there is a grace that you have released to our listeners, to our viewers, in the name of Jesus Christ, that they shall commit themselves to what God they are doing in the name of Jesus. The Bible has said that it comes with a reward. It becomes our inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. And any thing that devil may scheme against uh, our commitment, we, we declare it is powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Guide us and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oh, yes. Thank you. Welcome back to Arise and Shine Show. This is the testimony hour. Whatever we go through in this life is our tomorrow's testimony. Or it not that we pass too many things in life, we could not be having something to testify about. But yes, you climbed a mountain, you went down the valleys, there are so many things that you engage yourself in, and you found yourself in a, in a, in a, in a dilemma, you didn't know what to do. But after some time, God comes and delivers you from such. And uh, you, He builds a testimony in you. You have something to tell people, yes, I have seen God. And not just hearing about Him. I've seen Him with my own eyes. I've touched Him. I've touched His goodness and His power. This testimony is right. And uh, we are on Dysart TV. You can join us online on DysartTV.com. You can send your messages on 23595. You can also join us. And our WhatsApp number is 0724-121-812. 0724-121-812. Let us know what you feel about us. Let us know whether you've been blessed. Let us know what you are thinking. Let us know your testimony. Let's hear what the Lord has done for you. And we are going to go together with the Spirit of God. Wow, it's testimony hour. I have a great visitor. Her name is Salome. And uh, this time, 
she's going to be sharing her testimony with us. I'm sure whoever has a testimony in his or her mouth has gone through a difficult time and the Lord was able to deliver him or her. And now it's a great opportunity. Let's listen to what happened to her. How are you, Salome? I'm very fine. I thank God. Thanks for coming. Thanks, too. Thanks for creating time for us. I'm happy being here. Mm -hmm. and, um, I'm happy. Grateful. We are very grateful. And mm -hmm. thank the Lord because He's the one who has enabled us to have such a great opportunity. In this journey, for you to have a testimony, you must have had challenges. Yeah, so many. So many. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. But you have the testimony that the Lord delivered you in such. True. Now, to our viewer, who is Salome? Who are you? Who, who can we say you are? I'm um, Salome. Mm -hmm. I come from Moranga County. Mm -hmm. I'm young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, okay, the Lord has done great things in my life. Mm -hmm. I've gone through so many challenges, mm -hmm. but He stood there, He fought for me, and I'm victorious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you can see you're just a young lady. And uh, I thank the Lord because according to what you say, it seems you know this Lord. You have had an encounter with him at True. some point. Yeah. Uh, you said you come from Muranga. You you come from Muranga. Is you know in Muranga or this this indigenous place? You come okay, from this I, place. Okay, I come from this place. Okay, beautiful. Mm. And good to have secured some time for us as basic TV family. We are grateful. Board. Now, what is that that the Lord? did for you that you feel that yes I cannot just keep quiet and come and shout and say the Lord did this for me. What okay, happened? I had this terrible case which yes. wasted a lot of my life mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. that is all I have something to tell God thank you for it. Now case you know when you say my case in Tunashanga Casey what do you mean by you had a case? Casey like Casey. <laughs> a court case? Yeah, court case. But you're such a young girl. Oh, what would have made you go to court? We say it's life. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. It's life, yeah? It's it, can, life. it can push you wherever. True. So at times you find yourself where you're not supposed to be. Mm. Okay, what's your story? What happened? Okay, I was I was employed in a certain Mpesa. Mm -hmm. And I worked there for more than 11 months until thieves came and broke into the shop. No, wait. We pay our job. Yeah. Yeah, in Pesa. True. So you're transacting? Yeah, I'm transacting. Yeah, I was like, I was the assistant that. agent. Okay. I, I worked very nicely. Mm -hmm. But then this day, mm -hmm. I just went for a short call and when I came back, I found that Thieves have broken into the shop and they've stolen some money. Come on. Now, where will you a job? Where is the job? Yeah, Kawaida. Now, Sasa, Nini, Yani, why is it that you have to talk about it? I don't even know how to explain it because Nimi Achan Mefunga, and when I come back, I can't get fully like it's open, there's no money. Mm -hmm. Only the two phones, mine and the, 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 the transaction. Yeah. Uh, was it in a bush? It was in a bush. It was in a bush. It was in It was in a bush. It was It was in a a bush. It was in a bush. It was in a bush. It was in so I had to call the neighbor, plan come a like I'm a too, mm -hmm. like then I went and reported. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. my employer mm -hmm. he, he he told me that the, the the money I reported was not the money that he wrote in the statement. It was okay. like four times now of the money becomes, that was you know, stolen. Now this becomes a police case, yeah? Yeah. And uh, I called him, he didn't pick the call, okay. so I went to report myself to the police station. To the police station. Mm -hmm. And when I went there, mm -hmm. I, I told them the statement, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. they locked me in a cell, and they told me they, they, that uh, until my employer comes, mm -hmm. that's when they'll send me free. Okay. 
So your employer is called na amekuja police. Yeah, he Sasa came around 3. Yeah, I, I went there around 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. I reported around 10 a.m. and he came around 3.30. That's, so that's from 10 to 3 that you're in cell? I was in. They locked me in. The policemen? Yeah. Why did they follow up to, 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 to did they call the employer? They called him and that's when he came around 3 a.m. Okay. So 3 p.m. You never know. And now, I imagine you're in a shop. It has been broken into. The money is lost. Yeah. The employer is not even uh, near. Mm -hmm. You take yourself to the police station. You report that money has been stolen. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, like how much was stolen from the shop? Okay, the, the exact money which was stolen, mm -hmm. the cash, mm -hmm. which was 80,000. 80,000. Yeah. Okay. Then mm -hmm. the, the phone was installed, so the, the float was still exactly. there. So mm -hmm. the employer came and said that it was 240,000. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, uh, if I have to pay, I have to pay the money that was lost, but the money that was stolen mm -hmm. in my hand. Now you're in cell, uh, you're in jail, sorry. You're yeah. in, uh, sorry I, I was in a it. cell. You're in a cell, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because you've been hosted there until the employer comes. Yeah. So you had a surety of 80,000 in cash, the money you had in cash. Yeah, that's the money was stolen. And how comes when the owner came, said it was 240? Had he, maybe he hid some money in the I, office or what? Okay, the, the money, the float was in stolen, so mm -hmm. the money was there. Okay, so with some coins, the, 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 yeah. the money that is in float and also the, the, the money, money in was cash. stolen. Did he know that the float was not stolen? He knew. And uh, 240 was much? Was well, much, I... Okay. Uh, now you're in the police. The yeah. owner comes. The owner what comes. Happened? Then they, I, they, are, I accompanied them mm -hmm. to the shop for the audit. Investigations, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The, the audit. audit okay. the, 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 the deputy was just there. Mm -hmm. He did the audit. I can't explain why. Mm -hmm. He concluded that I stole the money, mm -hmm. and I uh, was arrested. So from then, I was taken back to the cell. So that the following day I would be taken to the court. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a life like that. Wow, sorry about that, but uh, we are victorious. At least God did something that you can testify to mm -hmm. him. He made you pass through that so that you, at one time you'll have to sit somewhere or stand somewhere and confess that the Lord is able to deliver us from sure. all our challenges in life. Now, the OCS comes to the shop. They do the investigations, sure. they do their statement and all that, and then he concludes that you stole. Yeah. Did he tell you that you stole the money or how, what, did, what made you think that? I, until up to date, mm -hmm. I don't know how he concluded it because mm -hmm. he, he wasn't the deputy of CS, he wasn't the auditor. Mm -hmm. They could have called an auditor to come do an, the audit. Okay. They didn't. Mm -hmm. so they failed to do so. so I was arrested. Okay, now you're taken back to the police to station. To the police station. And the following day you're supposed to go to the same cell. Yeah, the following day you're supposed to go to the, to the court. To court. To, I was to go to court. Okay. I didn't know things like that. Mm -hmm. I've never been a cell before, so it was cold. Uh, maybe for you. How was the experience? Okay. Okay. My parents said that what you do, end a true kubali, pesa utafutwa. Mm -hmm. And at around 1 a.m., I was like, what did mom tell me? Mm -hmm. To go and say that I stole the money. Mm -hmm. Now, this is life. Mm -hmm. I'm facing the law, mm -hmm. not my mother or my boss. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey. So I in, wait. inside you, you knew you, you never stole I the know, money? I know, and I, I didn't steal the money. But I, maybe I I'm knew. to imagine your mother, because uh, this is a parent, yeah? Mm -hmm. And maybe she's worried, she's like, only 250 will take my kid mm -hmm. to sell. And maybe she was reasoning like, maybe you can do a mchango, we, we rescue yes. our daughter. So she's trying to tell you, just just accept that you stole the money or just accept it is Yeah, your I own. just accept, but no, this oh is real no. life. So mm -hmm. the next day I was taken to court. Mm -hmm. I've never even gone to court before and I was like, oh, okay. So I can see. My name was called out, the statement, the statement was led and I was like, do I have to say yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, I said no. You said you didn't steal. I didn't. Yeah. Then I, I thought I would be released. So. Oh, <laughs> you understand it was if you say no, I uh, did not take the yeah, money. Yeah, I did not take the money. Then the just release you. I thought they would release me, but then mm -hmm. I was told I, I should go to remand. Because mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. I was, if I was to be out, I was to be bailed. 
that was I was to be out via cash bill. Mm -hmm. How much were they asking for the cash okay, bill? They asked for fifty thousand. Instant. Instant. What? Then like everybody was shocked. Mm -hmm. We have to look for money. Mm -hmm. For the bailing, yeah? For the bailing. Mm -hmm. What happened? Did you get the fifty thousand for the bailing? Yeah. I went to the remand. Mm -hmm. I stayed there for three days. When the, oh, your mom was looking for the fifty thousand? Yeah, I didn't even know. You whether she will get the money. What were you telling yourself? What were you thinking? They're in cell. You can imagine for three days you've never seen a cell. No. And then you find yourself you're in a out cell. of cell now. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to the oh, remand. You mm -hmm. go there, you see people in uniform, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. You see how they eat, the life. Income? Okay, people there are so caring and loving. Wow. I didn't have even a toilet paper or slippers or anything, but in a few minutes I, was, I had everything. Wow, a challenge. Yeah. In cell? Those ladies are so loving. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't have a sister, I didn't have a relative there, but they took care of me. As their own. Wow, it's challenging to us believers. You can imagine mm. inside a cell, people are showing such love, and out here we are just to ask Kumara to na songa songa. Nobody wants to take care of the other. Mm. But I can imagine you're all kids and you have that concern. So in a flash, you had everything that you needed. I had everything, but I'm sure including the uniform. I'm sure you're just crying and wondering what. I you cried. Mm -hmm. Some ladies would tell me, "Hey, you just came today. I've been here more than six years," and you are like, "Hey." It's your first day and it's real hell. Mm -hmm. So, you just okay. pray to God. But people there, they pray. Wow. They believe. Mm -hmm. They believe there is God. Mm -hmm. So I had to join them. Mm -hmm. They worship. Mm -hmm. They pray. And you see now, yeah. Oh, what I mean, God is morning, doing it. In the morning. Oh, yeah. Do, ha do they have like... They, yeah, they have time. time that they yeah. before the mm -hmm. and, and now I was, in, in I was like introduced to a new thing called kukaba. Like after some few minutes, mnambo, it's time ya kukaba. Like <laughs> you go squat and then on a sabu, then you go back to the cells. Oh, the, 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 the policemen are watching whether all of yeah. you are, or somebody yeah. has uh, run away. And I was like, mm -hmm. why your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I stayed there the first day, second day, it was on a Wednesday, I stayed Thursday, Friday. I was like, oh God, that day I prayed. Mm -hmm. That is we on took, Friday? Yeah. That is your third Which day? Which is, day. yeah, in my Riemann. third day mm -hmm. in Riemann. Mm -hmm. I had friends, yes, mm -hmm. but you miss the freedom. Yes. Like, I want to go home, I want to go buy an orange, mm -hmm. I, want, I want that life. Mm -hmm. But then... Kakula sapa sasa and I was like, oh, today is Friday. Are you eating? Yeah, there is food. There is food, eh? Mm. Okay. There is food. Mm -hmm. now yeah, the first day and the first and second day, we nasi kia uta kula. But the third day, mm. hey. you are hungry to an extent that you really, you really want to eat. Uh, now, you are waiting for 50,000. It is not I, Friday. I, I didn't know because I have no contact. Oh, you don't know what is happening I don't even know what is happening. So your life I is in the hands of your God. Your life is, and you don't it's know only you happen. and God. Just you and God. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your mom, mom is, is doing. I don't know what my family is hey. And then uh, Now it's comes. on Friday. Mm -hmm. Nimekula sapa. And now we only pray mm -hmm. mulale, around 5.30. Mm -hmm. And I had my name. I just told God, if God you have... If God you love me, mm -hmm. I miss seeing my mom, by the way. Mm -hmm. So it was a moment that you feel like God does I really want to you. see my family. Mm -hmm. Like you really miss, you even miss your enemies mm -hmm. when you are inside <laughs> there. You really want to see someone. I like that. <laughs> you even miss your enemies. You just want to see someone. Mm -hmm. Nice. Then what happened? But you around 5.30, I, I had my name. Mm -hmm. Stella, may take your belongings. You are lucky today. And I was like, thank God. And everyone is like, they are happy for you. Even the ones you are leaving behind? Yeah, they are very happy. They are okay. Oh my Those God. ladies. They are happy for you that you know. They are happy for you that. And they've been there for And you it's like, they know that. Well, <laughs> Sad, yeah. but quite encouraging. Mm. Now, you called and you told to pack your belongings. And where are you going? Now you follow the, the, the madam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you follow her. Mm -hmm. So that's when you realize that the the, the bold has the, been yeah, paid. Yeah, has been paid. 
Yeah, you are built and now you are mm, free. I'm free now. When you came out, who did you see? Your mother? I saw my mother and my grandmother and I was like, who? Oh. Yes. The process of now coming out of the remand, mm -hmm. the, the, the offices, mm -hmm. and they were like, it's real jail. Why are you moving out of this place? Mm -hmm. You could not even believe it. Couldn't. It's God in heaven. I told God, this thank you. No, you are out of jail, but now you have a challenge. You have a case. Yeah, I've never know. cased before. Mm -hmm. I've never been a courtroom. That the day I was taken to remand was the first day I was I attended that that court. Now the Have challenge. Have you ever seen a court before? Like maybe Okipita okay, too. You've never been there. I've yeah. never been you, in a you court. Never I've what, never what goes on in the court. Room. I So you find I yourself have, there and you've mm -hmm. never been there. This is the magistrates, <laughs> the audience and all. Now you are happy you are out mm -hmm. when you have a challenge of no, how do I fight this? Mm -hmm. How do I tell that magistrate I didn't steal the money? Mm -hmm. Now I came to realize that in our court, mm -hmm. ex-beats, they were, ex beats were, work, ex -beats. yeah, mm -hmm. and the witness. I, I won't call my mother and tell her, I know I'm a judge like, mm -hmm. I didn't steal the money. Mm -mm. You have to prove it out. You have you to, never yeah, you money. did. And you're in your naivety because I'm sure you, you, you're less than 30. You're not yeah. near 30. You're just a young girl. Okay. And now in your naiveness, how do you convince the magistrate you did not steal the money? So the first day in a courtroom, mm -hmm. I went for a mention. Then I was given a hearing date mm -hmm. and I walked there. My name was called. I went to the Kadok. Mm -hmm. And you were like, no way. What do I see? Then they read the statement for you. Mm -hmm. The magistrate I met there wasn't even fair. Because mm -hmm. he told me if I don't say I, I, I stole the money, mm -hmm. he will sentence me like five years. No, I don't get that. Like, he, the magistrate told you? The magistrate. He, he said, mm -hmm. if I don't agree that I stole the money, mm -hmm. I will be arrested for five years. And I was like, but you are the one who has to listen to me. You are the, ma the, the only person who should mm -hmm. listen to me. Mm -hmm. But now you are threatening me in a court mm -hmm. that uh, you mm -hmm. arrest me for five years. Mm -hmm. And yet, he has, he has not even listened to the other side of me. Mm -hmm. So I stood there. Mm -hmm. Only God. God, I, I, I think it's God was guiding me because some words... I didn't even know where they came from. Mm -hmm. I stood and I, I stood there and told him, "You have no right to threaten me in a courtroom that you arrest that you arrest me. Yet you've not even had the other side of me." Mm -hmm. So I told him to keep off my case, and I applied for another magistrate. Wow. It the happened. court has that assess. You, you, yeah, you I know my right. Mm -hmm. Now when you go there, did you, you go see, home and study, or where did you? I I, right I, I don't even know. You see, mm -hmm. when you are inside, then now you are out, mm -hmm. and now you go. When you go for mentions before your name is called out, mm -hmm. you see some people are being called. You see how the you case is going, and you are like, mm. Mm. so it's like this. Mm -hmm. So it's when you got that dog, you fight for your life. Mm -hmm. ah. That's what I did. So of. were you given another magistrate? Yeah. So the time, the, the next mention you found another a yeah. different magistrate? Yeah, I, I, I found an, uh, another magistrate mm -hmm. and sh she was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and you, I, you, you got a, a lady? Yeah, I got a, a lady. Mm -hmm. And now the proceedings are, are ongoing or you, you just went for mention and then the, the other time you go for sometimes they could even you go for mentions mm -hmm. even five times sometimes since you don't know what you, you, it's, it will happen you just agree and go on but with time mm -hmm. you understand when they they give too much option it's too much mentions you have to tell them you you don't have time for that. You mm. have a, a, another things to do. Mm. So you're asking for that time when they will listen, the hearing time. Yeah. And they are just calling for mention. Yeah, it happened like for like, f for the first four months, the witness couldn't come. That was the, my employer, my employer and yeah. the 
and the OCS, they were my two witnesses. The witness was the employer and the OCS yeah. who said that uh, he has a confirmation that you stole the money. Yes. So, and they have to give witnesses to the court. Mm -hmm. uh, so that now they can have a ground of jailing you because you yeah. stole the money. So and on the other side, you're just defending the same and saying, me, I never stole the money. Mm -hmm. So where are the fiction? So at times they, they fail to come to court. They are drawn more than three times. Now that's where I came to to say that I have a right, I have a right to talk to the magistrate. Mm -hmm. And I, the, prosecu the prosecution could arise and adjourn, they keep adjourn then. Mm -hmm. Hey, now I don't know which, to which courage came, but mm -hmm. I started. Now, when they adjourn, I object. Mm -hmm. And the magistrate is like, why are you objecting? And I could stand and tell her, mm -hmm. the, the prosecution, never give any tangible reasons as to why mm -hmm. the witnesses are failing to come to court. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm like, hey, okay, let me just continue with this life. Mm -hmm. So you fought for, for, for quite a I time. fought for. How long did the case take? It took like, hey, since 27th October 2015, mm -hmm. the case ended last year, April, 13th so April. About More than. More than five, five years. years. More than five years. Yes. And now? Now you're out there. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. at times you feel like you're not enough to fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to look for a lawyer mm -hmm. who needs money. Mm -hmm. Now you have to go hustle out there. Mm -hmm. Not for you. Not The money isn't for you. It's for, for the lawyer the who, will have, who will have to fight for you. Mm -hmm. It was quite challenging, mm -hmm. but I managed for a while mm -hmm. until one day I went for the hearing and I was like, somebody was arrested, yet she was represented by a, a lawyer. I was like, hey, you can still be arrested, yet somebody is re representing Whoever you. Whoever was arrested was in court. Mm -hmm. and, and then the, I was the like. The was also in court. Mm -hmm. And why was the culprit arrested? I couldn't tell, but yeah, uh, he was out on bail. Yeah, and, the and time he, comes now she had a lawyer, and she was arrested. Okay, it's like she was sentenced mm -hmm. to three, I, I think, two years. Oh, and I was not like, arrested, but uh, sentenced. sentenced. Okay. And I was like, somebody is representing someone, and yet that's that yeah, someone is is sentenced. sentenced. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, hey, plus still getting this money. Mm -hmm. It, the lawyers asked for a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, sometimes hakuna struggle. Yeah, oh, when now you have a case, mm -hmm. a case is not something like you go out mm -hmm. singing like I have a case. Mm -hmm. People out there, they'll talk about you, they'll mm -hmm. point you like you. It's very hard to find a job out there, and it happened to me that I I secured a job somewhere. Mm -hmm. It was well paying, mm -hmm. a nice job. Until that day, I met that my boss mm -hmm. is the prosecutor. Like, okay, the day I went for the hearing, yes. he was the prosecutor that day. Okay, you go to court, my you boss. find a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. And this prosecutor is the one now to employ you later? No, uh -huh. he is my employer. Like yeah. I, I secured a job, like in in, in his company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I asked for a day off. Mm -hmm. I didn't explain why, where I was going, but I was. He gave me the the, the day off. Mm -hmm. I went to court and find him there as the prosecutor. So, uh, I, I I think everybody is confused. <laughs> I have my boss with me. I mm -hmm. asked for a day off. I didn't explain I'm going to court. Mm -hmm. But once I get to court, you my boss is the there. prosecutor. Wow. So he asked, then after the court, he called me and told me, hmm, how was your day? It was fine. <laughs> and he told me that you are a very nice girl, but since you have a case, mm -hmm. I'll just release you, release you and until the case ends. Okay, Malizana, in a case, just come back. I'll take you. Yeah. So you lost the job? I lost the job. Sad. 
because you have a case. You have a case. You see, when so you have a case, everybody sees you as a criminal. No, nobody understands you. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows you are innocent. Mm -hmm. So, you just move on with life. So you lost the job. I lost the job. You're not jobless again. But jobless. I need a lawyer. I need a lawyer mm -hmm. to fight for me. But now, I don't have a job. So I told God, God, you, you're the only lawyer. You're the only judge, and just you. Mm -hmm. Only you who will fight for me. And I started being the lawyer for myself. Wow. You go, now you get again. The yeah, I had say, God. I'm not going to spare any, spend yeah, any other money. It is me now and God. And the case the judge? went well. God. Mm. Wow. It went well mm. until now the magistrate was transferred. The lady. The lady. That was your second magistrate yeah. in that court. That no. was on 2018 now. 2018. Mm. So for three years you've had that lady. Yeah. Now she's transferred. Yeah. To now court. I was given another magistrate. Mm -hmm. who was still was very nice. Mm -hmm. At least she listened to to us, the, the accused. You see, when you are called, you are the accused. Everyone sees you. You are the criminal. But let me tell you, out there, mm -hmm. even the people in jail, 99 percent of them are very innocent. But they go through a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have another judge now? Another yeah, judge she's now. nice. Uh -huh. She's listening. Now that's where the my employer mm -hmm. agrees to come to court. No, I told God. Now, what are you saying? From 2015 to 2018, this is when your employer is coming as a witness? Yeah. For three years? For three years. No, he's unfair. He came mm -hmm. and he agreed. He, he asked for like three months. Mm -hmm. Now we'll start the hearing on the fourth month. He was given the, 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 the permission. He's the, 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 okay. He has money in short. He has money. So you can say whatever you want in mm. order to be done. So I had three months mm -hmm. to prepare for my, like, for my, okay, I had the statement. Mm -hmm. So I went through the statement. I took three months to answer, to, to like, to write questions, mm -hmm. which I'll ask my employer in court because mm -hmm. I didn't have a lawyer then yeah, yeah. so you you arrange your your, your case in the, your yeah. in court. form of questions yes. yeah. so did he appear no. he appeared okay. no that that day he appeared mm -hmm. I had like 10 full scabs full of 71 questions oh my god and I was <laughs> to ask him the questions <laughs> I love that it took a lot of your energy time in life yeah sleepless nights <sighs> I could write and my little sister would say, hey, mm -hmm. kwanu nandika novel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you just rest there. It's yeah. only you know what you're going through. You go through the statement, mm -hmm. you write questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I will ask the, the, the my, my employer. Mm -hmm. And the day came, I asked the 71 questions and the court was like, what? You why you had time to ask him? I, yeah, the, the, the magistrate. Okay, the magistrate would tell me, Hey, that's too much. And I told him, This is my life I'm fighting for. Mm -hmm. Then she tells me, Continue. Oh, she, she also saw that those are so many questions. Yeah, so. but it was my life. Mm -hmm. I was fighting for my life. Mm -hmm. So she gave you a go. Ahead. She gave me a so go. So you ahead. asked all the And she didn't questions. even go for a break. She was that patient. She, did, she, uh, did your boss answer? Yeah, you see, mm -hmm. the complainant mm -hmm. is assisted by the prosecution. So he didn't have, but he was shocked. He, he, he used to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so it one question so was in the job, in a court. Mm -hmm. I knew writing, okay, I knew mm -hmm. writing, okay, when you, when you write something, mm -hmm. you, like you are allowed to write. Mm -hmm. So I took that as an advantage on my side. Okay. So I, I had the, these full scabs mm -hmm. and I asked the questions and he, he answered. And when he, st he stammers, I asked again. Mm -hmm. and, now? and now the prosecution, mm -hmm. hey, they were shocked. After, after the hearing, they came and asked me, hey, where is Omea Wapi? Ambia, Kutu. They were shocked. Mm -hmm. they, they they didn't even thought, they didn't even think that the, the magistrate would allow me to ask all, all those, those questions. questions. But I I used to tell the judge that, Your Honor, this is my life I'm fighting for. So. Yeah, and it, it was my life. 
yeah, and she would let So you, the first witness comes, the witness come, that is your employer, and mm. it's done. You're still waiting for the... The second, the second, the second one, witness, the, the OCS. The PC, now, we are done with my employer. Now, he's not allowed to come to court yes. until contacted. Mm -hmm. Now it's 2018. Mm -hmm. 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. 2020. You are, those years you are still waiting for those yeah. years. He's, they, he's they not go, available for three years. He could write, he could write and, and say that he's not available. He's doing, uh, he's in a vacation, a vac on a vacation. Uh, vacation. He's, uh, he's transferred, mm -hmm. lot of things. Now, around 2020, mm -hmm. something happened. The, the, the process, I, I, I don't know. They, they changed, you see. Every time you go to court, mm -hmm. they give you a hearing or a mention date. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. on 2020, around November, mm -hmm. they told me that they, 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 they came with the letter from, I don't know which hospital, mm -hmm. and they told, they, they, it was late that the OCS, the deputy OCS had passed on. What? I was happy. I thought I would be set free. So, oh my God. <laughs> I hate to hate. so you happy that the OCS is gone? Yes. So on your side, you're not happy because he has died, but because now the case is over. Yeah. I, to, to me, I thought the case w was over. Now that the witness is dead, mm -hmm. and I, 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 I applied to the court and asked them to dismiss the matter mm -hmm. since now the witness is dead, mm -hmm. and the the prosecution said that mm -hmm. they now the next OCS will take over. Okay. Now I'll kiss case with the mm -hmm. new OCS. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was shocked. Did he kill? After Did a while now. Mm -hmm. Were you able to, to, to face him and ask questions? Okay. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no. Now around 2020 <laughs> November, mm -hmm. you see, you, you when they give they, they write on your chat sheet mm -hmm. the next hearing date. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay. So you're given a date? I was and given a date. The, the I was to go sheet. I was to go to court on 17th November. Mm -hmm. That is 2020. Mm -hmm. But then they changed the date mm -hmm. to 18th. Mm -hmm. To November, 18th. The same month. Were you informed? I wasn't informed. So you, you your time so, to go to court on the twenty. Yeah, I remember that day I came from church. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I leave phone my phone at home when I go to church. Mm -hmm. And I came, found twenty one missed calls and was like, Hey, Kwan in Mekula Loto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twenty one missed calls. Mm -hmm. So I had to call back. From this from one number. Mm -hmm. I called back and was Salome. Do you know you have a warrant of arrest? And I was like, how? Kisi yangu ni amandi. Kisi yangu ilikuwa ikwe ya Tuesday. Kawambia kisi yangu ijafika and I was like, I, I have your file right now and you are supposed to be in remand since you are, your cash bill is forfeited and you ha we have a warrant of arrest for you because you never came to go to so yeah i told him i even told him i'm not around i'm very far mm -hmm. and he told me i can see where you are so you better bring yourself while i come for you so i had to yeah. i took myself back there are and you, uh, again you are reminded again yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was true uh, there was a warrant for me mm -hmm. but now the dates i don't they changed the dates mm -hmm. Now since my cash bill was forfeited, I was to go back to remand. Yeah, I slept in cell again. Mm -hmm. From church, kutoka church, mm -hmm. you sleep in a cell again. But who is the problem here? Because your case is on 20. I think 20 is not yet. My, my, my employer was, he was rich. Okay, he was never to accept the defeat. He wasn't. Mm -hmm. So however it is changed, you don't know? I don't know. Now, you are remanded and the following day you'll be taken to court. Yeah. What happened? It was on a Sunday, so on Monday I was taken to court. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, there, mm -hmm. he, they gave me, they read me something like, 
I, I didn't even understand. I even told that that magistrate was there that day that I don't understand what what this means. Because if I agreed or disagreed, I would still be arrested. And I was like, what is happening? Mm -hmm. If they are they read and I say yes, mm -hmm. I will still be taken to remand. What if made you think that they changed the, the statement? I, I can't recall how they how it was written, but no, 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 no. I'm talking of the date. How did you know that the date? Was okay. Changed? Well, I still come to there. Mm -hmm. Now it's on Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm taken to remand. Mm -hmm. I find a new judge, mm -hmm. and since and since she's not mm -hmm. my judge, mm -hmm. she says no facts. That is, you have to say nothing. Just go back to remand mm -hmm. until your judge comes mm -hmm. and I was taken back there mm -hmm. but then I remember very well Nilikuwa mm -hmm. Saturday and on that Sunday mm -hmm. on that Monday mm -hmm. nilibomolewa usiku really? now you go back there you find some some ladies who left there like 2015 walijifungua watatoa wanaenda shule and you are like you still here now the, the, the two ladies I left there who when did they undo your hair? Like you have to stay like that. And another Zarib kwa miya madam say, kesho naenda kotini. Nili shikuwa juzi. Nili shikuwa juzi. It was like, kaa kama, kama wengine tu. Una, you see, una shikuwa Saturday, una bomole wa mandi. You have to use, yeah, sh here should not be plated. Yeah, so the, the, the ladies I left there, mm -hmm. they assisted me. Ukwa 2015, they assisted me. And you see, in three months, hakuna awembe, hakuna nini, they, they used their nails. And plate me now. The yes. following, the next, the yeah, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. that was my hearing date. Yes. The I, one that you knew. Mm -hmm. I went to court. What happens? In court, they did a mistake. You see, they changed the, 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 the they changed the dates, and but God will have been on my side every day. Mm -hmm. The day, the prosecution gave me the original paper, mm -hmm. which they've changed the the date with the blue pen. It was cancelled. It was cancelled. The date. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. They had cancelled. No, when it was taken to the to magistrate, she was like, "What is this? Can you explain this? Like the date? I mean, kilo apa June a pen. They cancelled the twentieth. They have cancelled yes. the, the the dates. Mm -hmm. And they apologized. What did they say? They say it was a mistake, and no mistake is allowed in court, so they apologized. Mm -hmm. Now my cash bill was uplifted, and I was out again. Now, tell us about judgment. Okay, now, now that the, the, the OCS, the, we have a new OCS. The new OCS, okay, we went for the, I was prepared now. Mm -hmm. The OCS applied to the court to be given time so that you could go through my the, the, my statement yes, yes. that's the, so that you would now agree to to case with me so i did the, the i went through the the, the 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 same statement now for the second witness mm -hmm. i wrote the same full scabs i had 65 questions mm -hmm. for the ocs mm -hmm. and now is the day yes. I had my full scabs, kama kawaida tu. Mm -hmm. So he came in court? Yeah. You and guessed. every time I, I, I go to court, I pray to God, mm -hmm. God, just fight for me. Because mm -hmm. me nikienda kwa ile dog, mm -hmm. you're the only one who, is, who will fight for me. Mm -hmm. my, mama, my mom is not here, my family is not here, but you are mimi wewe na prosecutor na judge ndio wako huku. Yeah, I, I nkaito and kaenda hapo. <coughs> so, Nikaitwa, the OCS akasimama hapo. Okay, OCS hakufika hiyo time. Mm -hmm. I, I, I told the, the magistrate, hey, your honor, I have come from very far and I've been coming for, many, for, for so many mentions and you, last time you said that it was the last adjournment. So, the court wouldn't allow mm -hmm. another Have adjournment. adjournment. Yes. So, I objected the adjournment. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I told the prosecution mm -hmm. to call the witness. I'll wait for him. Mm -hmm. Your patient. In no time, he came. Mm -hmm. He came. I asked him, do you know me? He said, no. 
and how then can we kiss? If you don't know me, I admit you, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you explain the case before this court? Mm -hmm. How did you arrest me? Mm -hmm. So he said he didn't arrest me. Mm -hmm. And now I ask the court, if you didn't arrest me, then why, why, why are you here? Mm -hmm. It was dismissed. It was dismissed. And what was but now, I was released by another section, which if... Uh, if they release me, they, I, I would be arrested again, like I would be harassed by the police. Mm -hmm. No, you are released. Now I told the judge, hey, your honor, just check through the, that file. I've wasted a lot of years mm -hmm. coming here. I've never failed to come to court, you know that. Mm -hmm. I, I applied to this court to release me with another section, which police would harass me. Mm -hmm. And now she's like, hey, you girl, you are bright. Mm -hmm. Now, and she agreed. The, the, the so you are released unconditionally? Yeah. And the other was the end of the case? And that was, the, I just knelt there. In the dock? And Kambia Mungu, I was like, Kai, God, oh God, just don't make that judge change her mind. Mm. Because I, I, I I'm kissing with a very big person. Mm -hmm. I don't have mind, but I have you. Mm -hmm. You're the big guy. Yeah. Nil nil yamka. statement. Ni patia police. You're all Diane. Nobody should harass me. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's my God. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord because mm. of that journey. It was such a tough journey. It was a tough a journey, but like he you. made it. And now you see, just confused. You don't know where you should go. You don't have money. Yeah. Your parents are not able to help you because this is you and sure. the court. Mm. The situation is that you're the one who faces this situation. So it, I'm, I'm sure it was a bit bitter. But yeah. I want to encourage someone out there who may be having a case. You're not even responsible for whatever you happened. But you're trusting God that one day he's going to change your story. Sure. He hears what God did to Salome. She didn't have money for the, for the, for the what do you call them? The, the lawyers. The lawyers. Yes, she would have wished to have a lawyer who would come and assist her, who would stand on her behalf in case she's sick, is able to talk to the court. But you see, it reached a time that he, she was just helpless. But there's God of the helpless. True. There's God for those who are very down, who are facing cases. Some are even very old. They are facing challenges in court. Not because they are responsible, but something happened along the way that attacked them to the court. But there's still hope. There's great hope in Jesus. If only you trust God and tell God, yes, like she told God, you are the judge, you are the magistrate, you have my final verdict. Are we courageous enough to face this situation? And thanks to the Lord because he made you strong. Yeah, you know, at times, uh, when you're talking, I was laughing, I was like, uh, you know, you're just naive. And uh, the court case, you think maybe it's something that will change overnight because now the, 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 the deputy of CS is dead. To your understanding is that you just be released. And in the first time you, you, you went to the court, you thought, when I say I did not steal money, you just did this. Yeah. So that's how un, un, uninformed we as Kenyans and we as ordinary people are, because we don't know what happens in court. And at times you find yourself there. But there's God who is able to lift you up. There's God who can change your story. Yes, like you said, judgments are many. When you have a court case, everybody will look at you like a criminal. Just like most of us are looking at you, because that is what is happening. But there's God. Who is able to fight for you in that ugly situation? You can imagine being a remand. You've never stolen it from someone. But that opportunity of being there, you still learn something new. Like you encouraged me telling me that those ladies are very loving. They are very loving. And they're very assisting. True. You cannot imagine that in a cell. Because like they are happy we, we, for you. I think we have our, our wild minds that uh, maybe we think a cell or a, a remand is a, the worst place to be. Mm -hmm. These are ladies who are even bringing up their kids. So they know they care. And we pray. Because so many people are in cells, not because they did something wrong, but it's because nothing was there to show that for sure these people are innocent. So it's a situation. Maybe you're even in jail, you're in the remand this, uh, this very moment. You're watching me from the remand, and you know too well that you never did something. I want to encourage you this morning that there is a God who is able to fight for you. He may tell years, he may stay for many years, but eventually he'll come because he's God. He's never limited. The Bible says that a thousand days in the eyes of God are just like one day. So you may be there for years, for 15 years, but God is coming to rescue you because his time is the best time. Thank you for your testimony. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm also encouraged. I'm able to learn some things that happen in courts. I've, not, I've never had a, a case. 
and I thank God because uh, of not have, having one, but also thank God that you had a case and you're testifying today of what the Lord has, sure. that has done. Are you giving back the bail? Yeah, I was giving back the bail. Now, before you are released, you tell your owner you applied to court to, to, to get your security. Wow, I think your mom and is they the, the, the gave the order and your mom was very happy. And you also feel relieved because yeah. you see, when you get a job and then you're fired because you have a court case. My mom was sad, good, sad. plus my family never gave up on me. Wow. They stood by me. Everyone would call and ask me, Casey, mm -hmm. and like, yeah, they, they still think about you. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. and that's the, the spirit we need to have as Christians. Mm -hmm. When someone is in problem, let's not just turn our back on that person. Let's try to encourage him. Let's try to, to, to call her. Let's know what is happening. Because when you have a shoulder to lean on, there's no way you can feel you can, you can die. But God is going to lift you because you know that at the end of the day, I have my brother who is concerned, I have my sister who is concerned, I have my church who is concerned. And this concern is what makes us moving. Because we are sure of challenges to come. We are on this earth and we are sure of challenges to come. But are we willing? to be the back or to be the, the leaning pillar on, on our people because many other challenges we are sure of them coming like we said. So we thank the Lord for that great testimony. It has taught someone, it has really encouraged someone who feel like without my mom I cannot make it. Yes, you can because you had God. You don't be sure. right to the dog and used to tell God it is only you, me, magistrate and the prosecution. And because God I believe you are my God, you're going to fight this for me. We are humbled. Thanks for coming. Yes, yes, yes. And to my viewer, this is a great opportunity. Because whatever you hope for, you, 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 you're passing through today, tomorrow it will be such a great testimony. That testimony is actually elevating. It, the testimony is, is actually changing our perspective and our mind. Because many other times you find so many challenges. You see a young girl who has no money, a young girl who does not have even a lawyer. The prosecution is up on you. You don't know what the magistrate will decide and you're just there. But please God. The baby says you should only believe in the report of God. And when you believe in the report of God, you're going to be blessed. This is the Rise and Shine Show. We are here every Sunday morning at 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. This is the time that we meet our God, we talk to our God, we minister to the hearts of our, the many congregants who are following us. We actually call upon God to be our mediator. We call God and Holy Spirit to be our mediator in whatever we do in this show. So it's a great opportunity that the Lord had given us and we had a great time. We had the time to reflect on many things that have passed through and the Lord was able to deliver us. On our social media platforms, we have Dysart TV. You can also get us online at DysartTV.com. You can send your messages on 23595. You can also WhatsApp us on our WhatsApp number 0724-121812. We are glad that you have really you're still there and waiting to see what the Lord will do upon your life. My name is Joyce Harrison. Every Sunday, make sure you tune, tune in and partake the blessings with that. We, we, we don't just want us to be blessed. We want the whole of us to have an encounter with God every Sunday morning. We are glad. And may the Lord see you through this week. May He start with you. And you may, may He direct your path. May He light your path. Even as you walk, we pray that you'll be a week with a difference. God bless you. Enjoy the show. We are going to exit with a song done by Paul Mwai. It's a very loving song because this is a time Paul Mwai was telling God, you are holy, holy, holy Lord. And beside everything, I don't see anywhere else to lean on. I don't see any other holy God apart from me. So with Paul Mwai, we sing the song, Holy One. Stay tuned. God bless you. Have a good day. You are blessed of the Lord.